So today at 4 a.m. Wargaming released two things. The first was the teaser for the upcoming event featuring Oliver Tree. So it seems like in the end I was right, but I was also wrong at the same time because they released what is all about this event in this video that we're going to watch today. Oliver Tree being a singer, if I put the song or the sound on this video, I'll get copy strike, which is something I don't want to happen. So we're going to watch in detail everything without the sound. If you want to check by yourself, you will just have the possibility to get uh, to the video on World of Tank Blitz official channel. And starting straight away, you see that camo that looks really original with the pink pretty much everywhere, pink on the gun and pink on the rest of the tank. This camo is not available in the event, it's said right there, so please don't come at Wargaming saying, hey, where is the camo, blah blah blah, maybe it will come, maybe it will not come, maybe it's going to be in crates, maybe it's going to be given to players, I don't have a clue because they didn't explain it. All right, so they are uh, kind of rocking to the song of Oliver Tree because the guy is a singer and you have the possibility of unlocking avatar. What they're saying right now is that this avatar you're seeing right there is an evolutive one and you have the possibility of getting all of them. And if you want to get the legendary one of Oliver Tree, you'll need to win 200 battles, which is uh, still a lot. And for the rest, for the song and the glasses, it's items you know the items you can exchange for 1k experience in the shop that you will be able to keep same as his autograph so we are gonna pass on this uh, the event is starting today because i think we're 24th of september today yep it's going to start today guys until the 10th of october so you have roughly 16 days to get your hands on the main reward which is a free to play one and this is something crazy because all you have to do is playing winning battles when you win battles or for every one battle win you will get the oliver tree slippers and that's it you get those legendary uh, rewards you get the avatar the evolutive one and the main reward is the m3 lee a tier 4 american heavy collectible tank and this is what we're about to review because that's it for the event you need to play 30 wins you get 30 wins you get your m3 lee which i don't know what to think about it to be fair it just looks overdone and for the people out there that thought that wargaming was gonna give away a brand new tank or something like that like it was my case because they really hyped the event with the secret event with the scooter running around we didn't know why etc it's not necessarily the case because wargaming just give away a tank that was removed from the 5.5 update and i suspect them not to do that or not to remove those tanks in order to help the new players to grind but rather for to, to be able to put them back in events after like 10 or 20 updates after because this is exactly what's happening with the m3 lee right now so yeah we already have the tank in the garage it's a tier 4 collectible and to be fair it's not that bad there is one thing to mention about this tank though as you can see it's a heavy tank it's labeled as a heavy tank and you have a turret a turret on the turret and a side gun on this thing you are only able to use the big gun so in fact even if it's labeled as a heavy tank you'll have the exact same play style as a tank destroyer which is neither bad or good it's just weird a little bit like the artist wargaming is collaborating with for the tank itself, let's say that it features a great gun for its tier. Just take a look at that. 1.3k DPM, 106 of penetration, which is way enough for you to penetrate everything at this tier. 160 average damage per shot, 9 degrees of gun depression. Now, to be fair, when it comes to the tank itself and the gun, you can't complain because it's among the greatest guns you can find at this tier. On top of that, you feature a really cool mobility, 38 kilometers per hour, allowing you to be extremely versatile on the battlefield. But obviously, all of that comes with a catch, the catch being that you don't have any armor, which implies that with this tank, don't try to rush forward, try to play it a little bit sneaky, even if it's level that has a heavy tank you are not supposed to be on the first line a b2 is supposed to be on the first line a b1 also this thing just played like it was a tank destroyer so camp in the bushes try to circle why not because you can try this as well and hopefully it will work 
Now, something I just want to highlight briefly on the tank. First of all, you see that the armor profile is definitely not the best and you can get penetrated by pretty much everything. But just take a look at the range of motion of its gun because that's what is interesting for us. You don't have that much. As you can see, you are really on a 30 degree overall possibility and this is it. So with this tank, most of the time you will have to move your hull. Yeah, your hull every time you want to shoot at someone or every time you need to circle always count on your hull and not on your gun side uh, side movement or i don't truly know how to call it but still just wanted to highlight it to you just in case you were wondering for how much you could sell that tank for you can sell it for 100 gold so it's definitely not worth it but still if you are gonna do the event in order just to get golds this is what you will come up with now enough speaking more action we are gonna take our mighty m3 lee on the battlefield and you're gonna see if yes or no it fits your playstyle. all i have to say about this tank is that i first didn't like it to be fair i really thought that this tank was shit and this game changed my mind simply because i never played it before and here being able to see that the m3 lee is a tank that features the mobility of the medium as leveled as a heavy tank while having the tank destroyer playstyle it's like a mix of every single tank in the game every single tank class beside the light one and this is just something amazing and fun to play to be fair when you want to have something original to do just play that tank so there we go, we're sticking the first shot, and as you can see, when I told you that the tank destroyer side of your tank was not in glitch, this is the case. Just take a look at that, 160 alpha damage on that poor boy, we're gonna do the same on that poor Panzer B2. And the M3D is actually one of the few tanks that is leveled as a heavy that is capable of fighting off a B2 and winning, because B2 are known for their impressive armor, and here you don't even have to use any gold shell to penetrate those guys, you just right click, derp, and this is it, you go on top of that i forgot to mention but even if your gun accuracy might seem bad with only 0.35 i want to remind you that we're at tier 4 and at tier 4 this is among the best accuracies you can find which makes this tank completely relevant when it comes to its gun so there we go we're sticking our shots we don't need to push forward we are a heavy tank leveled no we are a tank destroyer leveled as a heavy tank so what we want to wait for is some shots and nobody caring about us and here it's working perfectly because Panzer B2 did the mistake of pushing through without thinking that there was something on its side and now it's all about trying to hunt the remaining players i'm telling my team spot because this is not my uh, let's say that it's this not my role and as you can see our armor is definitely not the best because oh boy did we got wrecked like we were a fucking piece of cheese he it looks like a smiley uh, smiley this is a Ah, yeah, I lack of sleep. All right, so let's keep going, guys. And now all we have to wait for is getting some shots. There is the Panzer B1 that was unlucky enough to shoot at our tracks. And just take a look at that, the Max Alpha Roll, 200. This is wild because this is like one third of the hit points of any tier four you will encounter, which is definitely worthy. Now, of course, as nobody is taking care of us, we only have to advance. And maybe one downside I find about the tank, it's possibly its reload time. 7.7 .7 seconds is a lot because you will shoot only one time, whereas the Panzer B2 will probably shoot two, maybe three times using adrenaline. So in the end, they have a little bit of a better DPM than you. But hey, that's the game or that's the price to pay when you have such a good alpha damage and penetration. So that's it guys, this is the M3 Lee, if you wanted to get it now, uh, now you know what to expect. And for the people that already got it, maybe grinding the event is not going to be worth it, but still it's only 30 wins, so try to make sure to get it in order for you to get either some gold or some good old memories from the past where every single event was completed for free. If you enjoyed, feel free to subscribe, like and share, and I'm going to see you soon for a new video. Bye.